What's going on everybody? Welcome to G Myers World and what you're gonna see right here is proof why Randy Moss is the greatest player ever. I listen, and, and, and not, well, I can't say greatest player, greatest wide receiver ever. Like, I know people are gonna say, oh Jerry Rice, yo, bro, 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 did your mom's like listen, shut the F up. The bottom line is this: Randy Moss is the greatest wide receiver ever. And in this game right here, I'm gonna prove it to you. Now I know it's the ultimate ticket. I know that, um, you know, pretty much the ultimate ticket, believe it or not, the ultimate ticket Randy Moss in this game was the same original, like the regular Randy Moss and all the other old school Maddens. The same stats and everything. Probably his stats were even better with the old school. So the ultimate ticket, all that stuff like that, it's all BS because he's supposed to actually, you. it should be blasphemous to make a Randy Moss card the way they made it with the original ones with 92 speed and all kind of crap. All that stuff that was going on. So we're not even gonna get into that. The bottom line, what I'm trying to tell you is this: if you don't know about Randy Moss, are you too young to have seen him play? Just go on YouTube and watch it. You're watching this video. Just, go, just anything with Randy Moss, any Randy Moss highlight. Randy Moss is why prevent defense, defense was created. Let me just go ahead and look. I'm gonna tell you this right now, Dante Culpepper. I give him a lot of credit because he had a big arm and he did a lot of stuff. Yo, bro, get swerved. Hashtag TSG. Um, he did a lot with uh, you know, Carter. Um, and uh, Randy Moss, but we got to understand something when Randy Moss came into the league He took the league by storm, bro Like this dude you just put it like this They you know you typically when you're playing zone you may have a why do you just stand there and not re Wh Whatever, bro. I don't know why you just stood there and react like that But um, you may typically have a cornerback maybe you know seven to ten yards off depend if you've ever played football You understand what I'm saying if you're playing zone um, Sometimes you press zone and just run straight back or you may play a flat you know, it's different type of, um, you know, formulas within how your scheme is, right? But just think about it like this. Dudes would come out and be 15 yards off, right? Just just with Randy Moore, like, like vividly, just 15 yards off. So that's already five off more than like a basic receiver. And then what would happen is the safety and the other safety, like the free safety and the strong safety would be trying to gear towards the side that Randy Moss was on. Just in case one guy missed them. That's the kind of fear that this... You, you you would have to watch a full game, and I don't know how they have the games now. I don't know if you guys have NFL Network. Sometimes they put on full games with vintage um, highlights of it and things like that for you to be able to see it. But just understand that this man struck fear in the heart of, you know, defensive coordinators, the, the, the cornerbacks. There was no one man that could run step for step for Randy Moss. I don't care who you are. Deion said, what, listen, it doesn't, because he was too big and too fast. The 6'4 and the speed and the hands that he had and the way he was such an acrobatic catcher. And listen, Jerry Rice was great. Jerry Rice will give you like a hitch route. He'll run an out. He'll run a post. He'll run all those right on cue. He'll do all that stuff. I would still want Randy Moss. I don't give a F about any... Listen, that one big play. Let me... Oh, whoa. Oh, he didn't pick that? If it weren't for the New York Giants, Randy Moss would have actually cemented himself. Even with the one ring. Because you know Jerry Rice got three. Even with the one ring, you he, it would have been much better off as a comparison. But because the Giants came out and Eli Manning just didn't give a F about Tom Brady's problems, it worked out in the Giants' favor. So why don't I just get a safety on myself, though? But don't ever misconstrue the fact, bro. This dude, Randy Moss, for the years that... Even when he went on, like, uh, like, like layaway and went to the Raiders, bro. When the Raiders were sucking. Yeah, I love my Raiders right now. Yo, shout out to Marshawn Lynch and all that stuff, bro. But... The Raiders sucked, and he was on a hiatus, bro. He just was chilling there. I think he played for another team, like, very, very, uh, for, for, for a short time also before going to the Patriots. But even when he was with the Raiders, he was a problem, bro. You can't take away what this man had as a receiver. He was one of the greatest, most electrifying receivers to ever play in the NFL. And I still think that, it, you know, I would take him. I think he was better than Jerry Rice. I think he was better than Terrell Owens just because he had that one thing. He had that that it factor that if you put him one on one, somebody's getting dealt with accordingly. It didn't really matter. Somebody was getting burnt for six. Somebody was getting yo just straight disrespected. Ball sack on neck. It was very very bad to even try to defend this man with one on one. It was disrespectful. Um, you know, so when we talk about that and we say, listen, the goat, whatever like that, I'm going by. You know, looking at the field, what who can get me the most explosive plays in the least amount of time? Which is why Michael Vick is a hum, human highlight tape, and he's always going to be, in my opinion, one of the most electrifying players to ever play. Obviously, he can't, we can't say he's the best quarterback ever, but he was the most athletic and, and most entertaining to watch ever. No quarterback can compare to what Michael Vick put on, bro. 
and I watched him regularly when he was playing live. Whatever, bro, the dude, it was nothing like Michael Vick. But when we talk about Randy Moss, man, you talk about receivers. I, I don't, I don't listen. Terrell Owens was great, stuff like that. You put him up, you know. Just look at the stats and the things and the way that they deal with the games. This dude was having like three catches for 150 yards, bro. Like you can't defend. I don't know what they wanted to do to this guy, um, as far as like with prevent and stuff like that. But it was really nothing you could do, and that's what I believe made him so great, because you couldn't do anything to stop him. Darrell Rivas act like even when Darrell Rivas played against him, when Darrell Rivas was quote unquote in his prime, and he and he had like he pulled his hamstring or Randy Moss straight burnt him like. Randy Moss is a problem, so I'm gonna let you guys understand this. Leading up to what you're gonna see with this catch right here, I know it has a lot to do with, with what Madden 17 is, but that doesn't take away from the greatness of Randy Moss. I just like to see him go out there and make plays, regardless if it's ridiculous and it doesn't make sense. I just love when it's Randy Moss because it's Randy Moss. You know what I'm saying? Like, and that's not even that catch. This dude just gotta get his panties swerved off. Hashtag TSG one more time in the comment section, but. This dude right here is going to try to do something stupid. I think he's going he gonna to try me right. Oh, you going to just run it with, uh, with Russell Wilson now? You just going to run it with Russell Wilson? All right, cool, bro. I got to talk about Russell Wilson on my other channel soon. If you guys are not subscribed to that channel on my podcast, check it in the description box and get over there and subscribe to it. That's where all the podcasts are going. Sports recaps, you know, life journeys, life flashbacks, all those podcasts and stuff like that. Check this out right here, bro. We're going to zoom in a little bit. Zoom in, camera, man. Watch this right here, bro. Watch this right here. Oh, oh, bro. Oh, oh, off the tip. Oh, oh, no, no, bro. We still... Oh. <laughs> all right. All that was unnecessary. But did you see the catch, though? Did you see the catch, though? If you saw the catch, though, I expect a like, though. See you guys and girls next time. Rage quit incoming. One love.